mounting for the owner of exclusive pools. Customers accused the company of collecting tens of thousands of dollars, but never finishing the job. And now Hillsborough County's building board is coming down hard on the owner. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer is joining us now with what happened today. Aaron? Well, Kelly, this comes down to intent. The building board had to determine whether Exclusive Pool's owner, Pat Reardon, took money from customers without any intent to ever finish the jobs. And if so, should he be forced to stop building pools in the county? The board's answer, a resounding yes. Andrew DeNaro, Cynthia John Staney, Antonio Vargas, dozens of homeowners, Bobby Espinola, Jack Stevens, Marcus Dean, each one. We want to know where our money is. $44,000. Out between thirty and $60,000. We paid at $37,300. And they were all left with a concrete hole where a brand new pool should be. It's the same thing, time after time, after time, after time, after time. They all blame the same person, exclusive pools owner, Pat Reardon. He's accused of collecting about a million dollars from dozens of customers. And they say each time Reardon started construction, got paid tens of thousands of dollars, and then abandoned the project. Subcontractors claiming they were stiffed by Reardon placed liens on the customers' homes. The anguish that these people have gone through, I've lost sleep for months. Thanks to this piece of During a hearing before the Hillsborough County Building Board, emotions ranged from seething anger to heartbreaking tears. We want him to know that he's hurt us greatly. Leslie and Bobby Espinola paid about 50 grand. That's money they received in a settlement following a car crash that killed their daughter. We wanted that space to be able to go out and find the peace, you know, that, that we search for. Today, the building board came down as hard as they could revoking Reardon's licenses to build pools in the county. I've been a, a, a 19 building, I mean a, a practicing building official for 40 years now. And this is by far the most egregious case, widespread, uh, affecting not only our specific county, but the region itself. During the hearing, Reardon's former customers packed into the room, ready to look him in the eye, but he didn't show up, choosing instead to send his attorney who offered an apology that some had trouble swallowing. There is no excuse for what has happened here. Uh, the way in contact Mr. Burton was taking care of his wife over eight, nine months with a debilitating illness where he eventually passed away. And he left his business split. Unfortunately, these customers still have no idea where their money is. The liens aren't going away yet, but just for one day, they felt some relief while realizing there's still a long road ahead. And Reardon's attorney has told us that the company has basically shut down, leaving him with very limited to no assets to pay these people back. Reardon actually owned two pool contracting licenses, one used by exclusive pools and the other being used by Cox Pools in Gibsonton. The county essentially put stops on both of them. Meanwhile, the Hillsborough detectives attended today's hearing. Legal experts say a criminal investigation would likely be looking at whether Reardon misappropriated construction funds and committed fraud. Kelly. All right, Aaron, thank you. Well,